<coughs> hello students today most of the students get conf confused about uh, how to measure rise and fall time in the square wave using an oscilloscope so today we will clear that here we have function generator which generates a square wave of uh, 1 kilohertz with zero decibel attenuation and this is your BNC connector this is your amplitude and frequency knobs and this is a duty cycle so I have set this as 1 kilohertz square wave now we will plug this in the channel 1 of oscilloscope so here it shows me 18.2 uh, uh, volts as peak to peak means its amplitude should be around 9.4 and its frequency is 1 kilohertz now how to measure its rise and fall time because you know that this is not a perfect straight line this is always a ramp like signal so how to measure this rise time first of all you will press here uh, auto button in uh, this oscilloscope here you have auto button so we will press this so when it shows the your auto button is pressed it shows these four options here first of all this is a square and this is a square peak this is your rise and this is your fall and this is your return button now this is your rise means corresponding to this you have this button you have to press this button so it moves to this square wave rise time means from this point to this point this was not a perfect straight line here you have rise time of 30 nanoseconds means from this point to this point it goes up to 30 nanoseconds so now uh, you can also measure this by cursors so in order to do that we will go to cursors option here you have cursors so you have to keep it on and track so you can just move the intensity knob to move to the cursors here you have also noted that this time the cursor knob is at uh, this point so this point corresponds to uh, almost minus 25 nanosecond it should be because uh, our total time was 50 nanoseconds means from this point to this point you have minus 25 and this point to this point you have fifth, uh, plus 25 so total time will be 50 nanoseconds so I can also show you the positive top positive top should also be your plus 25 so it's 26 so actually it's 25 now I'm moving to 25 so you can also check this by cursors similarly you can also do the uh, fall time analysis fall time analysis can be done when you have you have to press again auto button after you have pressed the auto button this will show you the fall time fall time means you have to press this button so during fall time it has almost uh, 29.5 nanoseconds fall time so this fall time is 29.5 seconds so in a square wave you don't have rise time and fall time exactly equal you have some difference of nanoseconds in uh, in this so, so you can also do this by cursors you have to keep it on and uh, track it so now you can move the slide here it is uh, positive 24 seconds and here it is minus 13 so it should be 13 plus 13 plus this peak is 20 means 33 so it's almost 30 nanoseconds